I'm here with junior forward Tyler Kelleher. Being from Massachusetts, the state right next door, was being a Wildcat always in the plan for you? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I grew up watching UMass Amherst games. I, uh, I always dreamed of playing Hockey East, and when I got the opportunity to play UNH, it was, it was like a dream come true. And you came in that freshman year tallying 16 points in the 2013-2014 season and came back your sophomore year and jumped that to 42 points recorded in that season. What do you credit to that transition? Um, I definitely think a lot of strength. Uh, I just, the older you get, I was 18 years old and uh, I, the freshman year I had mono for most of the season. Didn't know until after the season, but I think the strength part was huge for me. I worked hard that, that off season, stayed here on campus, took a class and worked out for half the summer, and I think the strength was a big difference for me. Talk about your line in specifics, starting last year with um, freshman at the time, Andrew Podorowski, now sophomore. You guys seem to have an obvious chemistry on the ice. What What's the sort of method to that magic? Yeah, we uh, right from the start last year, we were playing together, so I think that helped a lot, and uh, I think I could help him, and he helped me a lot, and I remember the first day I met him, on, uh, everyone was trying to get, to get to know each other on campus, first night on campus, and one of the first things he said to me is, you want to go to the rink and work out tomorrow morning? And I was like, wow, this kid's really committed. So I knew he was going to be a special player just from that, and he's really showed it. Podorowski's up into the zone. Podorowski holding. Podorowski gives it to Corey Alley, and he scores. Podorowski just took his time, dragged the defenseman back with him, and he sets up Corey Alley. A power play goal and a 4-2 Wildcat lead. Um, as a team so far this season, just getting into the bulk of Hockey East play, you guys are 1-1-3. One, one, is this where you want to be as a team? No, I mean, we're not doing bad, but I think we could do better. We're, uh, we had a couple wins uh, sneak away from us there, so every point's huge, so we got to keep on trying to get as many points as possible. Some upcoming matchups are pretty big as far as um, cinching those points in conference play. What's been the team's goal to sort of prepare for that? Oh uh, yeah, we're just trying to take it one game at a time and we're going to try to uh, get as many wins as we can and just keep it up. A goal that Coach Emilia stressed time and again throughout the season is tightening that defensive zone. How does that boost your confidence as a forward? Yeah, we, uh, I mean, it's from the goalie out, us being defensively sound is huge. So a goalie can have confidence in our whole team. Um, I think as a forward, we really have to watch out for our defense and because we're scoring a lot of goals right now, but our defense isn't very great as a team, not just our defensive players, but so I think we need to work on that. How as a forward can you contribute to that defensive? Um, just make sure we back check and make it easier for our defensemen so we can cover guys for them and make sure we cover our guy in the, de in the defensive zone to uh, help out our goalie and everyone else. Talk about the younger guys on the team. You're a junior, um, a, a leader to them in particular, you know, someone that they're influenced by. What have you seen from their play so far this season? Yeah, they've, uh, they've actually really exceeded my expectations so far this season. I think almost all of them, there's uh, almost all of them are playing every single night, so, and they, they really do it well for us, and I didn't, I didn't think they were going to be doing so well, but it's, it's awesome to see. All right, well, thank you, and we wish you luck with the rest of the season. Yeah, thank you.